recollections, like parts of a broken mirror. One is being on a battlefield and falling into a shell hole. There were two dying boys in the mud, one from the north, one from the south. As I lay there, one reached out to the other, too hurt to move. The other crawled a few painful feet until they could lie close. Before the shelling stopped, both were gone. They never knew who won the battle. Now, neither do I. something to say. You, uh, you like this horse? We could barter. Throw your head off. You coming in here, offering us what we can't afford. Mister, you are a man who is getting perilously close to making some decisions which will mean people living and people dying. You've got a lot of mouths to feed, Helen. Not much to do it with. You can either ride that animal or serve him up. I don't care which. All I want is one of those extra mouths. Yes or no, sir? Yes, sir. And you are how old? I'll be 15 in May. You like that coat? It's 
softest thing I ever felt. Better than a rat coon's tail. <laughs> Tell me, Ariel. Do you know what a sporting house is? I'm not sure. Well, it is a wonderful, wonderful place. Filled with music and lights and lots of beautiful ladies and handsome gentlemen all having a marvelous fine time and eating whatever they like. Sounds like a fairy castle. Mm -hmm. I'm too old to believe in that. Oh, but this one is real, Ariel. And in just a few years' time, you and I will live in one together. But you're gonna have to help me, aren't you? Can my brothers and sisters come and visit? Sir? Huh? 